Today I'll be showing you how to set up a web chat integration with Salesforce. First, make sure you've selected the assistant that you want to set up the integration with. On the right hand side, click Add Integration. Web chat is a UI widget that you can add to your company's website so that customers can ask it questions and if needed, be transferred to receive help from a human agent. Go ahead and click on it, modify the name if you'd like, and then click Create. Here you'll see op options to customize how your web chat looks, as well as the embed code to add the UI to your web page. Scroll to the bottom to where you see Allow Transfers to Live Agents, and toggle the switch to On. Then select Salesforce and Setup. In a separate tab, open up your Salesforce account. It'll be located on the URL pre lightlightningforcecom Find the cogwheel on the upper right hand corner and click Setup. You should see a search window on the left hand side entitled Quick Find. We can go ahead and click on it and type in the word deployments. We should be able to find it underneath the header called chat. Once you've clicked on it, find the name of the chat deployment that you want to connect with and click on it. Copy the deployment code that you see at the bottom of the screen. Now we'll go back to the Watson Assistant site and paste that code in here. Next go back to Salesforce and this time in the search window we're going to type in the word buttons. Click on the field entitled chat buttons and invitations. Find the name of the button you want to connect with, click on it, and as before, copy the code that you see at the bottom of the screen. Now we'll go back to Assistant and paste that code in right here. Now we can click on Next. That's all it takes to connect to Salesforce. If you want your human agent to be able to see a history of the conversation between the assistant and the customer before the customer is transferred, simply follow along with one more step. Here you'll see another code snippet. On the upper right hand side, click on this button to copy it. Now we'll go back to Salesforce, and in the same search window, we'll now type in the words Visual Force Pages. Find the label that you want to connect with, and follow along to the left and click on Edit. If there's any code in here, just delete it and paste in the code that you just copied over from Watson Assistant. Make sure you hit the, but the Save button when you're done. That's all it takes. Now we'll go back to Watson Assistant and save all our changes. To test out the integration, we'll go back to Salesforce and click on this dotted square on the upper left hand side. Type in the name of the app that you've just connected with. At the bottom, click on Omnichannel, the downward arrow, and change your status to Available. Now we'll go back to Assistant and click on the web chat that we just made. You should see a card called Live Agent Support. If you don't, simply type in the word Agent and it should respond with that card. Now we can click on the Request Agent button. And if we go back to Salesforce, we should see that request. So I'm just going to type in a little message. And now if we go back to Watson Assistant, we can see that the customer has received the message. And that's how you set up a web chat integration with Salesforce.